Hello everyone and welcome to today's Advent Reflection. The carol Hark the Herald Angels Sing just happens to be my personal favourite. And as with all personal favourites, there is a reason for this. As a young person, even though I didn't go to church throughout the year, I always loved Christmas carols and Christmas services. And then as a young teenager in 1975, I asked God to forgive my sins and to take over my life. I was born again, and just two months later I was to experience the joy of my first Christmas as a child of God. The words of all the carols came alive as never before, but especially this one. And so it's my joy to share even one line from this carol with you today. And that line is, Christ by highest heaven adored. Who is the Christ that he is by highest heaven adored? What does his title mean? Well, Christ comes from the Greek word Christos, meaning anointed one. And Christos is derived from the Greek verb krio, which means to anoint. In the earliest existing Greek translation of the Old Testament from the original Hebrew, Christos was used to translate the Hebrew word Messiah, Mashiach, meaning the one who is anointed. So the Christ, or the Messiah, is the anointed one of God. But then what does that mean? I'm thankful to Lois Tverberg for her blog posts on arabijesus.com for clarity. To be anointed is literally to have sacred oil poured on your head because God has chosen you for a special task. Priests and occasionally prophets were anointed. But even so, the phrase anointed one or the Lord's anointed was most often used to refer to a king chosen by God. The act of anointing with sacred oil emphasised that it was God himself who had ordained a person and given to them the authority to act as his representative. While Jesus has both a priestly and a prophetic role, still the prominent idea within the title Christ is that of king. It's clear throughout the Old Testament that there are indicators that God would send a great king to Israel who would someday rule the world. However, the clearest prophecy perhaps about the future messianic king comes from David's time and is recorded in 1 Chronicles 17, when God promised that from David's own family would come a king whose kingdom will have no end. The words in 1 Chronicles 17 verses 11 to 14 have had a double fulfilment, first in Solomon and then in Christ Jesus, the anointed one of God, the Messiah the Mashiach, the King. Christ, by highest heaven adored. Ephesians 4 verse 10 says, He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. Jesus went from death on a cross to the highest place, or as one writer put it, the highest epitome of exalted life. Christ by highest heaven adored. According to scripture, it would appear that there are three heavens. Simply put, we may understand that they're arranged as follows. The first heaven, the atmosphere where birds fly and clouds are blown about by the winds. The second or middle heaven, outer space, where you find the celestial array of orbs and planets and stars. And the third heaven, paradise, the dwelling place of God beyond the universe. Nehemiah 9 verse 6 records the words of Ezra. Thou art the Lord, thou alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. And thou preservest all of them, and the host of heaven worships thee. For him to be worshipped, Jesus the King must clearly rank higher than every other power. And that is why Paul wrote to the Ephesians, Christ, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. Effectively, the third heaven is not about different levels of heaven and earth, as much as it is about being in the presence of God, in his dwelling place, which is the eternal home of his saints. 
Christ by highest heaven adored. Adoration as elements of love, respect, admiration, reverence and worship. To endure implies love, a deep love accompanied by respect and homage, a pouring out of praise. To adore emphasises an individual and profoundly personal attachment. Lord Jesus Christ, by highest heaven adored, may we join with the highest heaven, the angel song this Christmas and always, in pouring out our love, adoration, and grateful praise.